So that'll bring up Kaylee Dodson, which could be the game point right here. Down the line it goes. Good job there by number 14, which is Stevens. Krenz over the top, and it goes. Good job by Krenz over the net. 24 to 14. Carla Cadillo will be serving for us now. Carla Cadillo with her serve. Job there by Burkholtz. They get it over the net. Krenz to Miller. Oh, they're going to say four hits, so they're going to give it to, to Lockhart on that one. 24-15. Lockhart is behind right now. Carla Cadilla, the junior, is serving. And there goes the serve. Good serve it is. They're able to play it from the back line, and over the net it goes. Here comes Miller to Krenz. And Krenz sticks it home from Miller's set, making it 24 to 16. Twenty-four to sixteen. Carla Cadillo still serving for us. There's the serve. Burkholz with it up. Watson, nice block by Ruggio. Miller to Ruggio to Krenz. They're able to play it up. That was Burkholz, and they're going to say that they're going to say that Ruggio got into the net. So that'll be your game. The first game is in the books as it is 25 to 16, Dripping Springs Lady Tigers win the first one. We're gonna take a commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAC Sports. First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Hello Americans, Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that'll follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. Johnny & Sons Painting Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny & Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny & Sons Painting Body, we won't steer you wrong. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School where the first game went to Dripping Springs, 25 to 16. It was pretty tight early on and then uh, Dripping Springs was able to go on a big run there by Kaylee Dodson serving. She's just a junior, junior setter for him. She was able to serve about five to six points in a row and get him a little bit of a comfortable lead on us. And we battled our way back in at the end with Cadillo at service, but we were not able to uh, come back and pull it out. So 25 to 16 goes to Dripping Springs that first game of the match. And again, you have to win three. Once you win three, it's over. So best three out of five. The good thing is, is that we didn't start at 9 o'clock versus uh, the last time we did this game. So right now we got a pretty good uh, group here. It's not been a loud crowd, but we have a lot of people here. We just need to get them a little more active into the game. Still trying to learn the names and numbers on the Dripping Springs, but we'll get them a little more acclimated here. But Dripping Springs and Lockhart have played so fast, it's really been difficult trying to keep up with all the action that's going on. So we're getting ready to start match number, oh, game two. 
as I stand up and lose my headset. So we're getting ready for game two, and I, I'm still standing on my headset. So here we go. It will be number 12, Avery Kalsu, who's going to be serving. Again, very tall team. She's standing right there in front of me, and she's easily my height, and I am six foot tall. Has a jump serve. It's in there. Going to be dug by Stevens. Krenz with it, and it goes long. They're asking for a touch, and the, uh, the referee does say that there was a touch, so it's going to go the way of Lockhart. Coach Kane did not like that call. One to nothing Lockhart. Abby Ruggio to serve. Here it comes. Dig there by Burkholz. They serve it up to Watson. Watson sticks it. Stevens with the dig to Ruggio to Krenz. Over it goes, and there's Murray Cadillo with a great dig. Cadillo over the net. They give it over to Kalsu to Watson. Watson dinks it over. Cadillo digs it up. Ruggio to Shaw, and it's out. So it's going to be one to one. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, they say it's out. One to one. At first, I thought they were going to give us the point. And I, I thought we were going to get away with one on that one. So it'll be number seven, Molly Driggs, the senior, serving it up. Stevens with the, the dig in the back. Ruggio to Miller. Up they go. They're trying to get it set to... Murray, she digs it, or hits it hard. It's Ruggio with the dig. Nice job there by Shaw as Nading was trying to stick it home, and Shaw blocked it, but they said it went out of bounds, so it will go to Dripping Springs. Two to one drip. Molly Driggs serving still. I understand we lost a little bit of our contact earlier, but we're back on and live here. Krenz to Ruggio, back to Krenz. They dig it back up. Dodson. Over to Murray, nice block by Shaw. Ruggio gets it to Miller, to Stevens. Nice job there by Kalsu. And then she dinks it over. That is number 18, Nading, that dinked it over the top, making it three to one, Dripping Springs. If you missed the first game of the match, it was 25-16, Dripping Springs. Driggs, Stevens, Cadillo to Miller, over to Murray for them. Nice dig by Cadillo off the backboard. And Ruggio kind of double hit it. So it's going to be four to one, Dripping Springs right now. Molly Driggs has done a great job for Dripping Springs with her service right now. That's going to be long, though. So four to two is how it will go. Kelly Krenz will be doing the serving now. Reynolds has checked in for Stevens. There's Krenz's serve, hits the net. It's dug up there by Kalsu. Nice hit there by number six, Hate. She sticks it home, making it six to two, Dripping Springs. They're just so tall and aggressive at the net right now, and. If, it, if it's not near Shaw or Ruggio, we're not getting any, any blocks at all. This will be uh, Maddie Burkholz who's going to be serving. Nice serve by her, and they say it went out. So that will make it 5-3, to three, Dripping Springs on top right now. Shaw will be serving. Cadillo checks out. Young checks in. Shaw with the service. Good dig there by number seven, Driggs. Good hit by number 18, Nading. They're going to go to Reynolds, and a great hit by Reynolds. Young set her up. Reynolds finishes it off. It's now five to four. Dripping Springs on top. As the Lions have clawed back in with Sidney Shaw service. Shaw's service. Oh, an ace as the two players kind of looked at each other. That was Driggs and Murray just kind of looked at each other. It fell right in between them. We're all tied up at five now. So the Lions are back in business here in this game two. Shaw still in service. There's the hit. Murray to Kalsu. 
to Nading. Over the top it goes, and then Murray has had enough of that as we hit it back over, and she sticks it home, making it 6-5, to five, Dripping Springs. And that'll bring number 18, Sarah Nading, the junior, to bring service. As I said, both teams well coached, well drilled. They, it's been fun to watch. Nading serve goes long. That'll make it six to six. <coughs> There's the service by Miller. Over it goes. Number five, and that was Lebovitz who hit it way past the back line, making it six to six. We're all tied up here, and it is going to be Miller serving. Oh, that looked like it could have been a double on that, but they didn't call it. Cal Sue gets it over to Murray. Miller to Ruggio, and Ruggio sticks it home. It's eight to six. Lady Lions on top. Timeout, Dripping Springs. We're going to take a real quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. In years, rain and drywall and paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with rain and drywall and paint today. Johnny and Sons Paint and Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Paint and Body, we won't steer you wrong. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School where the Lady Lions are on top right now in game two, eight to six as Coach Michael Kane had to call a timeout. He did not like what he was seeing there. Again, Dripping Springs is trying to win their seventh straight district title. They are 94-2 and two in district play in the last seven years. There's a serve by Miller. Murray gets a hold of it, and she spikes it home. Eight to seven. Already you can tell that this Mackenzie Murray, the senior, is quite the stud up front. So they'll bring in number 15. This is Nicole Herbert. She is a sophomore left-handed hitter. And it's going to go long. And it's going right back to Lockhart as it's 9-7 to seven now in favor of your Lady Lions. So looks like we're going to have uh, Reynolds check out. Stevens check in and Stevens will be serving with a nine to seven lead here in game two. Game one went to Dripping Springs 25 to 16. There's the hit, number 15 Dodson. Nice job there by number five Lebovitz, but she hits it long. It is now 10 to seven, the Lady Lions. So Kelsey Stevens, the senior. We interviewed her before the game. Shout out to I believe it was mom and grandma. Number 10, that's Raymond that hits it up to the sophomore. That is number 15, Herbert. Herbert's spike goes in. It's now 10 to 8. And that will bring up Kaylee Dodson, who got the, the gap in the first games of her serves. As they were able to dig that one up is Stevens. Krenz, the dink over the net. They go dinking it right back to us with Watson. Ruggio with the big hit with a block at the net. Good job there by Raymond at the net. And then a good job by Young as she sticks it right back over the net in their face, making it 11-8. Good job by Young there. Kia Young, very athletic senior, was able to get up there quick and stick it right back over the net. 11-8, Lady Lions. Carla Cadillo in service. It hits the net, falls. Over that goes, Stevens to Miller, to Shaw, and she sticks it home. She got it past Alex Hates, Alexis Hates' uh, block. That makes it 12-8 now. So Carla Cadillo serving with a 12-8 lead here. 
Again, the district title is on the line in District 25. Oh, what a great service by Carly Cadillo as Burkholz stuck her arm out there trying to make the play, couldn't. That makes the score 13 to eight, your Lady Lions. We'll take another quick commercial break. Here, that's on the Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAC Sports. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School. I talked and bragged about our uh, production crew all the time because they're both seniors in high school. And this is two years in a row now that they've actually done the game while doing strange math that I've never seen before in my life. I don't know what kind of math that was. It almost looked like alien math, but that's what Alex or AJ was doing on this. I couldn't, I, I still don't know what he was doing. Cadillo with the serve. They dig it right up there to the front it goes. Number six with the hit to Stevens, and it goes into the ground for a point. Nice job there by Alexis Haight as she finished it off, making it 13-9. Service now to Avery Kalsu, the junior. Her jump serve. Stevens with it to Miller to Krenz. Almost got it home. They're going to dig it right up there. Number eight, Burkholz with it. Now it's Miller sending it back to the back line. Number 12, Kalsu. She gets it to Dodson. Dodson sticks it to the back line. Krenz digs it up. Good job by Shaw to get it over the net. Burkholz, again, a nice job. Nading hit it hard. Shaw blocks it at the net. 14-9, the Lady Lions. Great job by Shaw because Nading is very tall. Hits the ball hard. Shaw was able to get up there and block it. And that will bring up senior left-handed jump server, Abby Ruggio, there it is. They're able to get it picked up. To the front it goes, dating again. Cadillo digs it up to Ruggio, to Stevens. Nice dink there by number 12, Kalsu, and it falls home as Miller gave it a dive, but she couldn't get to it. It's 14 to 10 now, Lady Lions. Molly Driggs, another one of their good servers is up. Again, at the end of the contest tonight, we will do the Chuck Nash Offensive Players of the Game and Farm Bureau Defensive Players of the Game. Right now, it's 14 to 10. The Lady Lions are on top in game two. They lost game one, 25 to 16. There's the serve by Driggs. Krenz gets it up to Ruggio. Nice hit by Miller, and they spike it right back in their face. Avery Kalsu got up there and stuck it home. Check that it was not Avery, it was Alexis Haight. So it is 14 to 11, Driggs serving again. And she goes out of bounds with it. She tried to go kind of ace it in the corner there and knocked it out of bounds. That'll make it 15 to 11, the Lady Lions. And it looks like Callie Krenz is now serving. She crowds a little more into it now. Nice dig up there by Kalsu. Dotson over to Murray. Murray with a nice cross-court spike. That'll make it 15 to 12. The Lady Lions are still on top though. And it'll be Maddie Burkholz serving. Jump serve, good job by Cadillo. Over to Ruggio, to Reynolds, and what a block by Nading, Mike. Goodness, she got up there and stuck at home. Sarah Nading, the junior, very tall, long arms, good block, 15-13. Lady Lions, here comes the jump serve. Cadillo, to Ruggio, to Shaw, she can't get to it. Kind of mishit it there, 15-14. And now Lockhart's gonna call a timeout. So we're gonna take another quick break. It's 15-14, Lady Lions. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. 
Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School, and it is 15 to 14 as Dripping Springs has made their way back into this contest. The Lady Lions are on top, but Drip is right back into the game. They still have number eight, Maddie Burkholtz, serving away. Here's the jump. Reynolds with it to Ruggio, to Krenz, almost. They long serve to Murray. She dinks it over. Good dig by Ruggio. Cadillo with it. Krenz tries to hit it over. Miller with it. Good job by the ladies to keep it going. They're going to do it to Murray again. Cadillo digs it again. Ruggio to Shaw, and it's in there. 16 to 14. The Lady Lions are not going to give up without a battle tonight. I like the scoreboard as they have it at 115 to 14 right now, but it's actually... 16 to 14. So Sydney Shaw will be serving. It's actually 16. There it is. Murray. That was number 10, Raymond. Ruggio digs it up. Reynolds, and it's blocked, but it goes out of bounds. So Nading blocked it, but it went out of bounds. Reynolds hammered it. 17 to 14, the Lady Lions are on top. Shaw will keep service. Good crowd here tonight, glad to see it. Shaw with the serve. Over the net it goes. Good job there as Murray kept it alive. Burkholz sends it over the, line, over the net. Ruggio, oh, they're gonna say Ruggio got into the net. So that's gonna make it 17 to 15. The Lady Lions are still on top. And that will bring up serenading serving. Sarah's just a junior and a tall junior at that. Cadillo digs up the serve to Ruggio, to Reynolds, and it goes long. Kaylee Reynolds, the junior, tried to stick it home in the back line. It went long. It's now 17 to 16, the Lady Lions. Nading's going to serve it again. Cadillo to Ruggio. Ren uh, I'm sorry, that one was young, actually. Over the top to go to, oh, my goodness. What a hit by Mackenzie Murray. They set her up. She went diagonally cross court again, and we're all tied up at 17. Serenading still service. Krenz to Ruggio to Miller, and it hits the out of bounds uh, pole, and it is now 17 18. Dripping Springs on top now. Dripping Springs has battled their way back into this contest. Nading serving. Miller gets it up to Ruggio. Krenz, good dig in the back. Here they go to Young, or I'm sorry, here they go to uh, Murray again, and Murray just sticks it home. She should be illegal. They shouldn't even be able to hit her the ball. She's really good at finishing. 19 to 17, Dripping Springs on top. Nading still serving. Cadillo digs it up to uh Ruggio to Krenz, Burke holds with it to Murray. She dinks it over the net. Not only can she hammer it home, but she dinked that one perfectly over Ruggio. It's 20 to 17, Dripping Springs. Lockhart's gonna call a timeout now. We'll take another quick break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. Are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K R E U Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School. I have not seen this since the 80s of the We Got Spirit, How About You cheer back and forth between the two schools. 
our football team has arrived from football practice, and so they've added to our crowd and craziness. So it'll be Nading still serving. She's the one that started all this. Miller digs it up. Ruggio to Reynolds. Burkholz with it. They're going to dink it over with number 12. That's Kalsu. Ruggio to Young. Nice block by number five, Levovitz, but it hits the net and falls to the ground. It's now 20 to 18, Dripping Springs. It will be Miller serving for Dripping Springs. Brooklyn, one of the girls we interviewed before the game. Nice serve dug up there by Driggs. They hit it to the back. Krenz digs it up. Uh, Miller to Young, and they block it, but it goes straight down into the net. That was Lebovitz that was up there for the block, but Young's hit was hard enough that it went straight down in the net and fell to the ground. 20 to 19, Dripping Springs. Miller in service. There's a nice dig up by Driggs. They give it over to, uh, oh wait, there's a call. I gotta see what it was. They're gonna say that she got into the net. So that was number nine right there was Murray getting into the net. Scores all tied at 20 right now. Back and forth we go. It's gotten a lot louder in here with the football players. Good job there by Kalsu. She gets it over to Murray, and Murray hammers it home. You can't shut her out every time. 21 to 20, Dripping Springs. Murray has been the difference in this game, and actually in both games. That'll bring up uh, Nicole Herbert as the service. Nicole is the sophomore. Over it goes, left-handed. Krenz digs it up to uh, Miller, to Ruggio. Good job by Herbert, but the hit by Ruggio was hard enough that she couldn't play it correctly. It's now 21-21. This is a dang league district title, whatever you want to call it. This is a battle right now. Both teams not wanting to give up. Stevens will be back to serve. There it is. Herbert with it. They'll get it over to Kalsu, and it goes out of bounds. Kalsu tried to hit it over. She got it to Hill. Hill hit it and went out of bounds. So it's now 22-21, Lady Lions on top. Kelsey Stevens, the senior, serving right now. There's the service. It gets up there by Herbert. Over to Hill, she dinks it. Stevens with it to Miller, to Ruggio. They're back and forth. Ruggio with the block. Oh, they called a double hit. They called a double hit. It's 22-22. Lockhart fans not liking that one. So 22-22, you have to win by two. Game scores 25. We'll see where we're at at the end of this one. Nice job there by Miller. Ruggio puts it over the net. They're going to serve it up. Cal Sue goes out of bounds with it. 23-22, the Lady Lions are on top. Carly Cadillo is in the serve. Coach Kane has done some uh, subbing out. Cadillo with the service. Burkholz with it. They'll get it up to Cal Sue. She hits it. Nice job by Stevens. To Nading. To Herbert. Miller. To Ruggio, to Shaw. Oh, what a dig in the back. And they dink it over. Oh, my goodness. Cal Sue did a great job. Really thought Shaw's hit was going to go in, but Herbert was able to dig it up. And then they finished this off with the dink. It's 23-23. Again, you have to win by two. And right now, it'll be number 12, Avery Cal Sue. She'll jump serve. Cadillo digs it up. Over the net it went. Cal Sue again, over to Dodson. Miller digs it up. Ruggio puts it in play. Krenz, oh, she can't get it over the net. 24-23, we're literally in game point right here. Lockhart has to get them to side out. 24-23, drip. Miller with it, or Chet Stevens with that. Cal Sue over to Hill, uh, Miller. To Cadillo, over it goes. Dotson to Kalsu. 
Oh, and down the line it goes as it's hate. It's in, and that's how this contest will end. A tight one. Dripping Springs on top, 25-23. They're now up two games to none. The next one it will be a deciding game if Lockhart can't get it. We're going to take us a quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAC Sports. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. You can tell the Pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. Johnny and Sons Pain Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Pain Body, we won't steer you wrong. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School where Dripping Springs has won the first two matches 25 to 16 and 25 to 23 as we're getting ready for game three. Dripping Springs has uh, brought, they got their uh, JV teams uh, over here making some noise and they've been loud and proud over here and then we got a good crowd here for Lockhart. But where we stand right now, Lockhart has to win the rest of the games. They can't lose another game or it's over. This is for the District 25 Region 4 title. If Lockhart loses, they will be the number two seed at the end of the year for the playoffs. That's pretty much a given. If they win tonight, they're, they're both champions of the district, and then they'll have to decide on who is the actual champions. We're now in game three. This is a must-win game for your Lady Lions. Keep in mind that Dripping Springs is 94 and two in the last seven years in district play, trying to win their seventh district title in a row. Ruggio's serve is on the way. Burke holds with it. She'll get it up there to Murray. Murray to Shaw. Shaw blocks it, but then it falls to the net. It's one to nothing, Dripping Springs. That'll be Driggs serving it up with a one to nothing lead. Dug up by Stevens, or by, yeah, by Stevens to Ruggio, by Cadillo. They're going to dink it over to the other side to Murray, and Murray sticks it home right in front of Stevens. Two to nothing. Murray is quite a player. She can really hammer that ball. Danielle Lebovitz has done a great job up front blocking at the net. It'll be Driggs again. Cadillo reaches for it. She can't quite get to it, making it three to nothing. So right now, Lockhart's falling behind early, and we can't have that. Molly Driggs serving it up again. There it is. Krenz with the dig. Miller puts it straight up. Shaw to Burkholz. 
On the back side it goes. Nice hit there by Hayden. Miller tries to get it down the line. Burkholz serves it up. Dotson with it. Good dig by Ruggio to Miller to Kranz, and Kranz hits it into the net. It's now four to nothing. <coughs> Lady Lions are finding themselves in trouble here in game three as Driggs will serve again. Cadillo to Ruggio to Miller. It's blocked, but it will be in the way of the Lady Lions this time. Four to one is the score now as Callie Krenz will be the service. Stevens checks out. Reynolds checks in. Krenz at service. That was Cal Sue over to, um, over to Murray. And Murray tried to get it over and she mishit it and went out of bounds. So that makes it four to two. Krenz will keep service. The Lions try to fight their way back into it. Calicrans jump serve. Good dig over there in the corner. That was Driggs. They get it to number 12, Cal Sue. Ruggio to Reynolds. Back over to Cal Sue. To Murray, blocked by Miller. Ruggio to Krenz to Reynolds. Blocked again. Miller saves it. Shaw over the net it goes. Burkholz. Nice hit there by number 18, serenading. Nading sticks it home, making it five to two for Dripping Springs. And I believe that's Burkholz down there and the referee's in the way. I believe it's Burkholz serving for the Dripping Springs. Jump serve, Cadillo to Ruggio to Shaw. And there's a call. What is the call? They're going to say double hit on Ruggio. Lockhart's going to call a timeout. Dripping Springs is ahead 6-2. to two. We'll take a quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. Thinking about getting your vehicle or trailer wrapped? Try the best. Go to Laser Signs and Lockhart. They have fantastic graphic designers and a 3M preferred graphics installer. They can help you with other sign needs too. Visit Laser Signs online, 512signs.com or call 512-398-7000. Think Bruce Germer Insurance for all your insurance needs. Voted best insurance agent in Caldwell County two years in a row. Proudly representing Germania for 44 years. Get fast and friendly service like nowhere else. Visit us, BruceGermerInsurance.com. Do you love the game of football? Wish you could be part of the action? It's 6-2, to two, Dripping Springs. Here's a serve by Burkholz. Ruggio to Miller. She tries to dink it over. They block it right back at her. Krenz gets it to Reynolds. They dig it up in the backside. That's Driggs over to Murray. And Murray spikes it home. Cadillo tried to dig it up. Couldn't get to it. It's now 7-2, to two, Dripping Springs starting to run away with this one. Matty Burkholz back to serve it up. 7-2 to two lead. She hits it, Cadillo digs it up to Ruggio. Reynolds spikes it, and there it hits the out of bounds pole, so that makes it eight to two, Dripping Springs. The good news is the Lady Lions are fighting hard. Nice dig by Krenz. Ruggio to Krenz. Nice dig there by number 12, Kalsu. Over to Murray, she just hits it over. Ruggio to Shaw. They dig it up again. That was Cal Sue in the back. Nice block. Murray hit it hard. Shaw got up to block it, but it hit right back down to the net. And you're now looking at 9-2 in favor of Dripping Springs Lady Tigers. Trying to win their seventh straight district title. Burkholz. Cadillo to Ruggio. Back to Cadillo to Reynolds. It's blocked. Nading, Sarah Nading blocks it at the net. It is now 10 to 2. The Lady Lion, or the Dripping Springs Tigers. Reynolds checks out. Stevens checks in. Burke Holtz's service. Prins to Ruggio to Miller. 
It's blocked again. Krenz digs it up. Ruggio sends it to the back line. Kalsu to Burkholz to Murray, and Murray hits it out of bounds. 10-3. Lady Lions will now take service. Cali, uh, I'm sorry, Carla Cadillo checks out. Young checks in. Sidney Shaw serving. 10-3. Dripping Springs on top. Shaw's serve is right at Murray. She digs it up. Over to Nading. Miller with the dig. Young over. Burkholz to Murray. A block of the net by Miller. Ruggio to Stevens, and it hits the out-of-bounds pull. It's now 11-3, the Tigers. Nading will now be serving. Sarah Nading, the junior. Serves it down. Cadillo with the, with the dig. Ruggio over the net with it. Stevens to Cadillo. Miller dinks it over. Briggs to Murray. It's blocked by Young, and she puts it right back into play. That'll make it 11-4. Check that, 11-3. It's 11, No, it is 11-4. I thought it was 11-4. So it will now be Miller, Brooklyn Miller, the senior with the service. Driggs brings it up. She gets it over to number nine, Murray, but she couldn't get it to go. Check that that was not Murray. That was Hate with it. It's 11 to five. Miller still serving. Miller to Briggs. They get it over to Murray. Ruggio blocks it. 11 to six. As Lockhart is trying to claw back into game three here. Nice block by Ruggio. Miller still in service. Good job there in the back by Kalsu. They set it up to Nading. Kalsu back over the net. Ruggio, oh, she miss hits it. 12 to six, Dripping Springs is on top. Watson's gonna check in. Driggs will check out for Dripping. Checking in also is Nicole Herbert who will be serving. The left-hander. Krenz with it to Miller, to Young, and she hits it into the net. That'll make it 13 to six, Dripping Springs. Herbert with the serve. Krenz gets it. To Miller, to Ruggio. Nice hit by Ruggio, and it falls in. Herbert tried to make the save, but she couldn't. Good job there by Ruggio. 13 to seven. Tripping Springs on top. Kelsey Stevens now serving, another senior. The service goes out. So it's now 14 to seven in favor of Dripping Springs. This is a must win game for the Lady Lions. They lose this one, it's over. And that was Nading with the serve and it went out. Actually, yes, that was. No, check that, that was actually Herbert with the serve that went out. So it is now 14 to eight, the Lady Lions are down. Carla Cadillo will be serving now. There's your service. Over it goes to Herbert. Number five, there's Levovitz. Shaw to Krenz. Herbert, uh, Burkholz with it. She, Nading hits it over the net. A block there by Ruggio. A dig by Cadillo. Krenz, Ruggio. Right back it goes. Watson with the dink, and it falls in. Good set up there by number six, Alexis Haight. Watson's dink went in. It's now 15 to eight. And the service now goes to Avery Kalsu. Comes the jump serve, and it went out. 
They called it out in the back line, making it 15 to nine. Abby Ruggio, the left-handed uh, senior, is gonna be going with her jump serve now. There's the first one, Burkholz with it. They dink to the backside by Cal Sue. Good job there by Haight. They dig it up, get it over the top by Miller. Back it goes. And they're gonna say it went out. So it went over Ruggio's head out of bounds. It's now 15 to 10. Ruggio will keep service. Left-handed jump served by Ruggio. Dig there in the back. Herbert. Watson tries to put it over. I thought that was four hits, but apparently not. Ruggio to Shaw, and she sticks it home. Nice setup by Abby Ruggio. Good job by Sydney Shaw to finish it off. 15 to 11. The football players are getting into it now. Ruggio serve. Dug up there by Kalsu. Nice hit there by Haight. Good dig by Miller, or by Stevens, I'm sorry, Krenz with it. Over it goes, good job by Shaw. Burkholz to Watson. Good dig by Stevens. Burkholz to, oh my gosh, good set by Nading to Hate, and she finishes it off. It's now 16-11, Dripping Springs. That was some quick action sets right there. That'll bring Molly Driggs back up to serve. She's a senior. Cadilla with the, uh, the dig. Ruggio to Miller. A nice block. They're able to keep it alive, but not for long. Stevens miss hits it, and it goes out of bounds. It's now 17 to 11. Dripping Springs, Lady Tigers on top. We are in game three. The first game was 25 to 16, Drip. Second game, we went 25-23 drip. And then Br Driggs just served it in between two of our players. It's 18-11, Dripping Springs. We're going to take a real quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. For over 15 years, Rain and Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Rain and Drywall and Paint today. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School where it's 18 to 11. Dripping Springs is in control. It is a must-win game for the Lady Lions. And right now, Molly Driggs has been serving it up. Driggs to Krenz. Ruggio goes deep with it. They're able to stay on it. That was Nading that stuck it over. Shaw, miss, hits it. And it's going to go to Drip. 19 to 11. Sidney Shaw with the miss hit. So right now, Molly Driggs is serving up a ton of points for her team. We will have the ladies again next Tuesday as they'll be hosting LBJ. Ruggio to Miller. Burkholz with it. They give it up to Murray who dinks it over, but it goes out of bounds. 19 to 12, the Lady Lions will get served back. So again, next Tuesday, we'll have LBJ here. Stevens checks out. Kaylee Reynolds checks in. Kaylee, another one of their pregame interviews. Krenz serves it. Burkholz. And Nading tries to get dinked over, blocked by Shaw. And then it was number 12, Kesu, that hits it right into the, the net, making it 19-13. Krenz will keep service. Krenz is serve, digging it back. Over it goes by Haight. Krenz dives for it. Reynolds, Burkholz with the dig. Over to Kalsu to, Mar uh, to Murray. Ruggio 
Oh, and it, one too many hits on that one. Reynolds tried to serve it or hit it over and hit the net, came right back at her. It's now 20 to 13. Running out of time here are the Lady Lions. 20 to 13, Dripping Springs on top. It'll be Burkholz serving it up. Hits the net. Shaw with it to Ruggio to Miller. Kalsu with it to Burkholz. Nice hit there by number seven, Driggs, and she hits it into the back line. 21-13, Dripping Springs on top. Burkholz with the serve. Cadillo to Ruggio to Reynolds. Nice dig there by Driggs. Murray, Reynolds to Shaw. And it falls in there. Good job by Shaw. 21 to 14. So it'll be Sydney Shaw serving here as we're down seven in game three. Shaw serving there to Driggs over to Murray. It was Shaw that ended up digging it, but it hit into the net. Not a whole lot of play up front there, making it 22 to 14. And now it's gonna be number 18, serenading the junior. There's her serve, Cadillo digs it up to Ruggio, to Miller. Dug in the back by Nading, to Burkholz, to Murray, to Ruggio, over to Miller. Reynolds with the dink, it's dug up. Burkholz, Kalsu, to Ruggio, to Miller, to Krenz in the back line. Nading with the dig in the back line. Burkholz, to Murray, and Murray finishes it off. 23 to 14. Nading will keep service. Nading serve. Cadillo to Ruggio to Young. Up it goes, Burkholz to Nading. Over to Kalsu. Over, to, over it goes to Reynolds. Reynolds to the back line. They're going to try to finish it off with Murray, and it goes out. Murray tried to finish it off, but it goes out. It'll be 23 to 15. Dripping Springs still on top. Brooklyn Miller, the senior, now serving. To the back line it goes. Driggs to Nading. Murray. Ruggio tried to block it, but it went out of bounds. 24 to 15 game point on the line here. If Nicole Herber can serve it in, that will be the seventh straight district title for Dripping Springs. And she aces it. That is how this one will end is Herbert. Serves at home, and the Dripping Springs Lady Tigers will win it 25-15 to and win their seventh straight district title. We're going to take a break here, and we'll come back with the offense and defense and players of the game. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. Hello Americans, Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. 
Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! Thinking about getting your vehicle or trailer wrapped? Try the best. Go to Laser Signs and Lockhart. They have fantastic graphic designers and a 3M preferred graphics installer. They can help you with other sign needs too. Visit Laser Signs online, 512signs.com or call 512-398-7000. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School where... The Dripping Springs Lady Tigers were able to win their seventh straight district title tonight, and now they are now 95 and two in the last seven years in district play, and that says a lot considering where they were at in district play the last five to six years. So, again, uh, congratulations to Michael Kane and his Lady Lions as they win their 12th straight district game, and they go to 12 and 0 overall. They'll go to 27 and 15 overall. The Lady Lions drop to 26 and 10. They'll go to two, 10 and 2 overall. And just to hit my team here real quick, I want to give uh, Mitchell Page at the QA a shout out. Thank you, Mitchell, for all that you do. We really appreciate you and all the help you give us. And then obviously, I, I'm going to say with AJ because AJ stuck with me here. He didn't. He didn't run off um, when uh, McKelty showed up, and he he battled through his first night with me. So I want to thank him for all of his work as he did a great job for me tonight. So we'll go quickly to the offense and defense and players of the game, and we actually have co-offense and defensive players of the game. As uh, Leslie Clarence likes to call them, and the Littles is what she likes to call them, the Farm Bureau defensive players of the game, the co-defensive players of the game, will go to Callie Kranz, Jr., and to Carly Cadillo, Jr., the Littles in the back line digging up everything they could, doing a great job defensively. They are the Farm Bureau defensive players of the game. Your offensive players of the game are also going to be co. The Chuck Nash offensive players of the game will go to Abby Ruggio center, or Senior and Sidney Shaw Senior are your offensive players of the game. So, again, I'm going to give a shout-out to my parents for listening, and if my family at home with my wife and her family who just arrived from Kansas. If they're listening in, I'm going to give them a shout-out as well. Um, you uh, you had Mitchell Padgett as a QA. A.J. Acosta is the uh, the producer, and myself, Scott Smith, the play-by-play -play guy. We're going to call it a night here. We'll be on the air Friday night as the boys' football team will play Alamo Heights here Friday night. Pre-game at 7 o'clock. The... Uh, Kickoff is at 7.30, and then Tuesday we'll have the Lady Lions again on volleyball, the pregame at 6, and the uh, tip or the, the first serve at 6.30. Again, you're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAX Sports, through Vibe Magazine. We wish you a good night, and thank you for listening.